Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Community Fortress. This is the Fortress of Gloved Cactus, which I've had a really hard time saying. This is my fifth time trying to record this intro because every single time I say glot cactus or glove lactus, I don't know, I just, I can't say gloved cactus. It's, it's hard to say. I'm sorry. Anyway, Slight Government is the Boards of Wilting and the Civilization of the Board of Copper, and this was sent in on the Discord by Monkey Ones. If you would like to send in a fortress for me to have a look at on this show, you can do that via my Discord. Simply join the Discord and join the DF Save Sharing Room, and if you're using a bunch of mods like this fortress, make sure that you include your mods folder so I have the highest likelihood of being able to load it. If I didn't have the mods folder for this one, I wouldn't have been able to load it. I actually tried without first, and it didn't work. So uh, we have this kind of lovely uh, world map that we're having a peek at here. And this is a pretty interesting fort. It's a surface fort primarily with this beautiful circular design, very intricate interweaving pathways, and a huge lava moat. Minimal on the spoilers on this one, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Now, this fortress immediately strikes with this kind of incredible look to the outside. It's a very small map. This is just a two by two. So they're definitely making the most of their space. And the creator of this fortress said that it took 25 years approximately to construct. And uh, you're going to love this moat when we actually go into it because it goes all the way down into the first cavern layer. But uh, initially what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this button and we're going to see that we are a town. We do have a, a duke as well as a mayor or, or a duchess, a duchy, um, the duchess of M. Gava, who also appears to be in some sort of military position, uh, e equipped with uh, nice amounts of armor. Quite a lot of squads in here, a relatively simple population of 97, and I'm assuming they've limited their population density. Just to all of those of you who have, like, lower power PCs, this is how you run Door Fortress well uh, with a lower power computer, because you can get away with, like, playing in these smaller maps and building really cool, intricate intricate setups that are just really fun to look at and check out this frame rate admittedly i'm playing on the experimental build with the uh, experimental multi-threading turned on as well as all of the performance improvements and like this is for the amount of stuff going on in here for the amount of liquid all of that we're sitting at like you know a solid 45 frames a second that's that's pretty good uh just outside here we have some workshops as well as uh, a big old refuse stockpile as we kind of scroll up here you can see that there's these doorways that are all locked because when sieges show up they'll be right there so this is i guess the one that is left open uh we can kind of move in the entryway here and see that there is like you know some stuff burning down in here um uh, it seems like some books have been thrown in and whatnot which is a bit of a pain and honestly that's just going to be smoking for all eternity that's something i would actually use df hack for is to exterminate those books so that they don't need to burn for all eternity but i love these little houses around the outside with these little sloped roofs like if you actually look up they've got ramps going up to flooring and walls in the center to give them kind of like this sloped look to the outside of the walls super cool looking very nice little design this actually reminds me of a lot of things that i see built in songs of six which is another pretty cool uh colony city builder thing uh on steam but uh because like in, in that game I, I often end up building these kinds of like little huts everywhere with little roads interspersed in between um which i don't generally end up doing in dwarf fort because most of my forts are like kind of underground but like i try and have like a very organic kind of city feel to them so i i really really like this kind of outer area because this is very similar to the way i build stuff except i do it underground instead of above ground um we have a small little tavern here it's labeled as a dining hall but you know same effect we got housing as well for various other dwarves and small temple that currently aren't being used as well as other spaces for housing and dwarves that work here we got our trading depot as well as some statues this particular statue of a is a statue of reg uh, an exceptionally designed statue of reg earth toes uh the dwarf and dwarves in marble uh the dwarves are refusing reg reg looks confused and the artwork relates to the removal of the dwarf reg from the position of militia captain of the row of the board of wilting in the early winter of 103 must have been a long time ago very notable event for this fortress i like these multi-roomed uh, little housings these are these are great this little beehive setup as well all as well with the screw presses for pressing the honey and then like these tiny little covered outdoor areas like this is something out of skyrim here like this little furnace and this little ashery down here uh and then we have uh, the this minecart rail that's bringing uh stone up from these from this lower like mining area down here um and then there's there's a lot going on down here so we're gonna have to kind of go through this um so i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna enter into this kind of base floor here and we're gonna move up and then we're gonna go down so on the base floor here of this uh black metal by the way uh 
Tower, uh, this whole black metal castle, which, by the way, fantastic. I, I, I love me some black metal. Uh, b big fan of the, you know, the, the metal festivals and all that m myself. Uh, and then we have these statues of flashballs everywhere. Giant meatball statues. You got to love them. Um, but as we move up, we have these bars around the edges. Um, you get to see as these little bedroom setups get smaller and more and more elaborate. Um, one thing I do have to say is this fortress has a lot of pinwheel designs, and just be careful when you're making pinwheels. Yeah, you might make uh, problematic symbols, but um, they seem to dodge that issue pretty effectively in here. But I love these floor designs, these hematite floors interspersed with the black metal. You know, I, some of the, the last few fortresses we've done, they're either duping the metals or they are... Um, uh, what, what's the word? They're, they're, e they're either uh, um, duping the metals or they are uh, using DF hack to summon them in because there's no way in hell you get this much from a single map. Like, it's it's absurd. They, they do state in the description that they built a pyramid out of divine metal, um, but uh, that I it's still a cool design regardless. Then as we move up, there's uh, malachite floors as well as black metal and then, you know, the dwarves, which are all, of course, wearing b their full black metal divine gear. Like... Yeah, they're, they're, they're absolutely duping the metal here. We've got uh, even more uh, bedroom spaces up here in the tower, even more bedroom spaces up here in the tower, even more bedroom spaces. And then up here we have this pinwheel design. Like I said, you got to be careful with these. Almost looks like an aperture from like Aperture Science with uh, dwarves worshipping because this is a temple. This beautiful uh, temple as well. It's like, uh, This one is two separate temples, I think. No, no, I, I see. It's like this is the, the roof above this, this previous one and then the top of it. So it's got this like outdoor area where you could I guess theoretically walk out here um uh and because or rather no it's it we're one floor up <laughs> it's kind of hard to see the top of this I, I thought that there was an extra floor there no so uh they they can kind of see out of here because it's just an open design but aside from being kind of confusing on the eyes it's gorgeous looking now i'm curious what does this look like in ascii let's give a real quick glance to this in, in ascii oh man i love this stuff ASCII's fantastic. By the way, for those of you who don't know, in uh, the experimental branch, you can zoom in and zoom out in ASCII now. So that'll be in the main branch soon for those of you uh, playing free-to-play over on Bay 12. Um, you'll have your zoom back sooner rather than later. Somebody knocked over a statue here. What a shame. Uh, but then as we move down, we have a farming layer here where they're going plump... Uh, Blood, blood helmets? I, I guess those are a uh, a modded plump helmet thing. Um, this save is also quite modded. There was like 12 mods or something in the mods folder for it, so um, I definitely had to uh, load up some mods, so I'm expecting some things to be a little bit different. Over here we have a um, uh, pump stack that's uh, pumping lava in, and uh, there is something on fire in there. <laughs> something. Who knows? Uh, and then down here we have more beautiful patterns as well as uh, spaces for natural plants to grow. If I hover over here, we can see that we have some llamas, uh, as well as various different plants, and of course, the bedrooms on either side. So these are your pen pastures for livestock. And then down here, more beautiful patterns with uh, dining rooms for bedrooms, as well as an office over here for the captain of the guard, and uh, I'm assuming, yep, prison setup, dungeon. Uh, down here, we have kind of a crafting layer with some lovely, lovely, lovely uh, infinite stockpiles there. Uh, more bedroom setups. This is my least favorite way to do doors. It just feels completely inhumane to me. Um, these like kind of grid based doors, but I've, I've de it's definitely a safe spacing, s safe s hmm. space saving measure. But this this particular one is uh, mostly hospitals. So there are some bedrooms in here. I guess those are the the doctors. Yeah. So the doctors sleep in those bedrooms, but the rest of the dwarves, um, if they're you know in hospital, they they get those funky doors. And down here we have uh, many uh, gravestones to those who didn't make it. And then just kind of some empty space as we get down into the cavern layers. The cavern layers are a little bit more sparse. But there is some housing in here as well uh, as what looks to be uh, like a children's play area, I would assume, because of all the toys. Um, children play in the last location that they were. So if you if you put a bunch of toys somewhere for them, they will go and congregate there and then uh, play with their toys. And that's how you kind of keep kids happy. Down here is where the, mil is where the military is training, all completely decked out in godlike gear. I've never had that much gear uh, for a fort ever. Um, and then as we move further down, we have the magma forges and then we hit the bottom of this and then I don't know what this is connected to I'm assuming uh that'll kind of flood into here somehow I'm, I'm not sure what those levers are for uh and then down at the bottom of this there's an empty tomb for the, the duchy at the very bottom of the stairs and then there's a few more stairs heading down and it goes down into the cavern layers which seems to be perpetually on fire for some reason and uh we can move down a little further and down a little further and that's as far down as we go. This is such a weird 
map because it goes down to layer minus 16, but like on the ground we're at elevation 40. So they definitely did some stuff with um, um, what, what's it called? Um, uh, the advanced world gen stuff to make the water table lower. Uh, and then once again, this moat is just this circular thing that just gets smaller. You know what's funny about this? Is from what I okay no never never mind this is safe. I was gonna say you know what's funny about this is all you need to do is drop one pillar down into here accidentally and then suddenly you've got a hole into here and all this lava is draining up. But no, there is a solid thing of wall here. This is a cool as hell fort. Um, I I, I question how it was constructed, uh, due to the uh you know fact that it it's entirely made out of uh godlike metal. But man, it's it's a cool looking fort. I I really like the aesthetics of this. This is a, a beautiful visual. This massive moat with this wonderful city out front so thank you so much to uh Mon monkey ones for sharing this one on my discord if you would like to do the same you can do that via the discord server links in the description once again and i just want to say thank you so much to people who keep sending in saves for this show uh it's less frequent frequent than it was during launch period but it's not gonna stop so thank you very much for sending in fortresses thanks for watching this show and if you would like to support me directly check out my merch store we just put a new mug up for sale that's three mugs now so uh if you would like to buy a mug or a t-shirt uh that's that's probably the best way to support me either that or just swinging by my streams and saying hi at twitch.tv slash blindirl. Patrons are on the screen right now. Thank you very much for watching the video and hope to see you in the next one.